Radio Boxing Classics. I'm your host, Russ Amber. In today's episode, we'll take a look back at the rivalry that emerged between boxing's fiercest warrior and certainly TV's favorite fighter, Arturo Gatti, and unheralded and perhaps underestimated Ivan Robinson. Robinson is a pure boxer, skilled and as sound as they come. An extensive amateur background and a groomed pro career have made him a formidable contender. In Arturo Gatti, fans from all over the world have come to expect nothing but sheer excitement every time Arturo stepped into the ring, and this time proved to be no different. We're ready for 10-round action. Arturo Thunder Gatti and Ivan Robinson in what should be an exciting lightweight contest. We're at the Atlantic City Convention Center. A very storied area of boxing. I'm Dave Bontempo. Glad you're joining us. And this uh, an ex ex excellent battle, the return of Gotti. As first we'll see Ivan Robinson coming in here. Robinson 25 and two, 10 knockouts. And comes in here as about a four to one underdog. Losses to Philip Holiday and then Israel Cardona in back to back fights. Comes in after that with victories over Desi Ford and Manuel De Leon. Robinson was going to fight Shane Mosley a couple months ago, then sustained an injury and found himself with Arturo Gatti instead. Robinson based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He has been boxing since 1992. Gold medalist at the Canada Cup while an amateur. A silver medal at the 1990 Goodwill Games. And a member of the U.S. national team from 1989 to 1992. And he was lost in the Olympic trials. Now, his opponent is making his way in now. Arturo Gatti, just about the most exciting fighter in the sport today. Just go back over his two wins over Tracy Harris Patterson. An intense 1996 battle over Wilson Rodriguez. His excellent fight against Gabriel Ruelas right here in 1997, in which he sustained 17 unanswered punches. He was on the verge of getting beat and then came back for the victory. Gaddy 29 and 2, 24 knockouts. And let's see how they shape up on the tail of the tape. Gaddy 26, Robinson 27. Robinson a little bit taller. They're just slightly above the lightweight limit. And Robinson with the reach by two inches. Robinson will be expected to use that reach and try to box against Gaddy, who is an exciting slugger. If you never have had the pleasure of watching Gaddy fight, you are in for a treat with this. From the ballroom of the Atlantic City Boardwalk Convention Center, main events in association with Bally's Park Place Casino Resort and Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, This Bud's For You presents the HBO Boxing After Dark main event of the evening, 10 rounds, Lightweights, ring officials assigned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Your judges at ringside are from Ardsley, New York, Melvina Lathan, from Landing, New Jersey, Ed Leahy, and from Cedar Grove, New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Your referee for this event from Newark, New Jersey, Earl Morton. Morton. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the blue trunks with the gold trim. He weighs in at 135 and three quarter pounds with a professional record of 25 victories, two defeats, and 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, introducing Mighty. Robinson, Robinson, his opponent 
in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing 136 pounds, with a professional record of 29 victories, two defeats, 24 wins coming by way of knockout. He boxes out of Jersey City, New Jersey, ranked number seven in the world by the Budweiser ratings of Fight Game Magazine, former IBF junior lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder Gatti. Gatti, 10 rounds, lightweights. I've received the same instructions. I expect you to be my command. I want a good clean break and protect yourself at all times. Keep your punches up, touch gloves, and good luck, fellas. Go on now, Martin. And we're ready to go. Ivan Robinson and Arturo Gotti. Gotti's first fight since the loss to Angel Man Freddy for a nasty cut in the first round. Hampered him throughout. And Ivan Robinson, a good boxer. Will need to box here. Gaddy, for the last three years, always mentioned in fight of the year conversation. He's won the award in those. Robinson starts off with the jab. And a good right hand by Robinson. Good hook by Gaddy. Nice jabs by Ivan Robinson. Gaddy with his jab. Gaddy known for an excellent hook, and he goes to the body very well. Two nice jabs by Ivan Robinson. Gaddy missing with a bomb with the right hand. Robinson with two nice punches. And a hook by Robinson, and another hook. Ivan Robinson starting quickly in the first minute against Arturo Gatti. Gatti nicknamed the human highlight reel because of all the exciting fights he makes, all the punches he takes. And Robinson certainly scoring with a good majority of his in the early going. Ivan Robinson setting the stage with the jab. He missed with the hook. Gotti with enormous power. Robinson says no, that left hook did not score. And lands seven punches of his own. Must be something about Gatti that brings out the excitement in everybody. Robinson is known as a boxer. And yet he's opened up with a very exciting pace here. Now Gaddy settles in and a big hook by Gaddy. That got Robinson's attention and Robinson is right back. Good start to this one. The game plan for Robinson was to box and try to not make this be so exciting that Robinson voluntarily has turned this into a war. Robinson with an uppercut. Gatti stalking the hook by Gatti. He did not get all of it. There's an excellent hook to the body by Gatti. The uppercut, big hook by Gatti. And Robinson took those. Gatti coming back. Robinson lands a few. What an excellent start between Gatti and Robinson. And the bell will get in the way. And they retreat to their corners. What a beautiful first round. Go in behind the jab, okay? You gotta go in behind the jab. 
Edmonton at the end of round one. Opened up with the uppercut. Not he blocked some, but some got through. Robinson with as much fury as we've seen in recent bouts. Second round action, scheduled for 10. Ivan Robinson in the blue trunks. Arturo Gatti in the black. We're at the Atlantic City Convention Center. This is Dave Bontempo reporting ringside. And the fans chanting for Gotti. Robinson from Philadelphia, 60 miles away. Gatti, based in Jersey City, New Jersey, just a couple hours north. So an excellent draw here in Atlantic City. And the hook by Gatti. Gatti said that Robinson reminded him of Calvin Grove, who had come up from the featherweight ranks to fight Gatti. And although Grove landed numerous flush right hands, he could not hurt Gatti. Robinson landed his share of good right hands in the first round. Gatti has walked through them. Gatti trying to get his hook started. Gatti digging the body. Now the hook. in his perennial stalking mode. A hook to the body by Gaddy. He never gets cheated with anything. Robinson, flirting with the idea of going southpaw, then thought better of it. And Gotti digs the body. Again with the right hand, and Robinson counters. More infighting in round two from Ivan Robinson. Gotti pushes him off. Robinson lunging. That was a little bit wild. Gotti lands a couple. Robinson comes back. Robinson landing flush shots here. Big shots by Robinson. An uppercut. Body walks through them. A chin like a stone wall. Well, he needs every bit of it. Robinson slapping with his punches. Well, to take a look at the left eye of Gotti, that is where Robinson has landed many shots. We'll see if that swells up as we go. You're making it easy for him because you stand in front of him. Use the jab, keep moving, make the round easy. Make it easy. Come on, pop the jab, step around, step around. You got to keep going around this way or that way. Keep stepping around. Make him look at you. Take your time. Yeah. Don't try to kill this guy. Get in your rhythm, okay? Get in your rhythm. We want to take this guy into a few rounds, okay? okay. And you've got to think defense, okay? Hands up. You're doing a great job keeping your hand, but don't be afraid to fall away from that right hand, okay? You okay? Yeah. You're okay. following the guy. Cut the Gotti with the hook here in the second. He comes around, squares himself up, almost firing a right hook, and then the big left hook at the end right, to punctuate out. the exchange. Let's clear it over there, fellas. That's Robinson good. slapping, but then an excellent right, uppercut. Stay there, Gotti. Robinson landing with the second part of his combination. We start round three. Excellent battle between Arturo right, then, Gotti then, 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 and Ivan Robinson. Gotti in the black trunks. Robinson in the blue. And both might feel black and blue by the time this is over. If you wanted to cultivate fight fans anywhere, exciting fights show them Arturo Gatti and then usually whoever he's in with will rise to the occasion and make it exciting with him Gatti trying to make the most of his status for the man Freddie fight he was able to top seven figures for the first time 
aware that fighters who are very exciting do not have the longest careers. Patty goes to work with the hook. Ty, stop it pressing. ties up Robinson. There we go. Let's go. Good jab by Robinson. Robinson has the look of confidence, even as he takes a hook. No, and Earl Morton cautioning okay, Scotty to get his punches okay, up. Scotty working inside. Robinson with the hooks. Although they don't have the same vicious quality of the earlier ones. Left hook by Gotti. Nothing cheap about any of these punches as Robinson squaring up so he can get more punches in. And lands some flush shots on Gotti who continues to come forward. Gotti digging to the body. Robinson firing back in kind. Body cut under the eye. Not as serious as the swelling around it would be. Body loads it up, gets in tight. Body lunging, firing wildly. Robinson with some good uppercuts. Ivan Robinson with some hooks. Doing the damage. Ivan Robinson putting on a show here at the end of round three against Arturo Gatti. An excellent round three for Ivan Robinson. Walk out of there, walk out. All right, great. Step out, step out. the fourth round you take a quick look at the eye the left eye of Arturo Gotti and in the blue trunks Ivan Robinson Robinson scoring with jabs and peppering Gotti Gotti is always a power threat Robinson lectured between rounds not to stay in front of Gotti but what he has done when he's gotten in front has he's been able to square up and fire shots from both sides. So Gotti again, wearing the look of a warrior, the blood under the left eye, swelling around it. And the question will emerge here, how much did Angel Man Freddy take out of Gotti? Because Ivan Robinson is getting a clear shot at Gotti. So did Ruelas. So did Wilson Rodriguez. How many wars can one fighter take? As Robinson goes southpaw, then goes back to right-handed. Body stalking Robinson. Fires the right hand underneath. is exciting in the respect that he can win a fight any place, any round, from whatever situation he's in. And Robinson trying to outbox him here. Every time Robinson's gone southpaw, he's opened himself up for a right-hand lead. Body lunging there. Robinson stuck out his chin. Instead of doing what you saw, on the replay from the last round, which was to make him pay. Come on, Gotti dude. digs the body with the right hand. Down is Robinson from the right hand to the head. Robinson shaking his head, but it landed to the temple area. Seven, eight. He says no. Referee says yes. So let's see how that pumps up Gotti. Right hand by Gotti. Crowd on his feet. Robinson comes right back at Gotti.
Robinson fires a right hand. Gotti with a hook. Gotti seems to be saying, my chin is better than yours as we come to the end of the round. Crowd loving it. The right hand of Gotti on its downward arc, catching Robinson for the knockdown. I said like Robinson go. slipped as well. Gotti, stay there, baby. Robinson slipped right after he was getting hit with a grazing blow to the head. So the knockdown is ruled. If you just touch your opponent even slightly as he gets tangled in his own feet and goes down. You get credit for a knockdown. And that's what happens with Gotti in round four. So we start the fifth. Gotti scoring to the body again. Told between rounds by his corner that he was hurrying this, not being patient. This doesn't seem that patience would be part of this guy's reputation. The hoop over here gotta come up. Okay? It can make it more effective. As Gotti comes in, lands two left hooks. Robinson with an uppercut, then a nice two-punch combination. Gotti lunging, not jabbing his way in, and thus is a bigger target for the counter. What we got here? Break, step out. I'm here. I'm here. Let's step out. Gotti with a hook. Jab here by Robinson. Gotti closing ground. And showing a little bit of the jab here in this round. Then leading it to an uppercut, then a hook. Right hand to the body, left hand went a little low for Gotti. He blocks the hook that takes the right Let hand. Let his hand off. Let his hand off. Okay, come on. Come on. Robinson. I right, break. Let's take out. Fighting in Let's close. Rather than jabbing. He figures he can do more damage in here. As he turns, gets away some quick combinations. Squares up. And when Robinson squares up, he's neither a righty or a lefty at that point. Will sacrifice some power for speed. Now watch his head. Okay, stop it. Watch your head when you go in there, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Robinson landing enough shots here. Powerful or no. He's Both getting in on Gotti. Watch, watch that head in there. In the final portion of the round. Gotti stalking, takes a jab, unloads a hook. Robinson goes southpaw. Gotti with some arm punching here. As we come to the end of the fifth round, we are halfway through in a barn burner. So, as the pundits expected, a war is emerging between these two gladiators. Gotti and Robinson staying relatively even after five. Both have given and both have taken some very heavy shots. Although Gotti was credited with a knockdown in round four, it was evident that Robinson wasn't hurt and remained composed for the rest of the round. The home stretch looks like it'll be the difference. So sit tight. We'll have the conclusion of the fight right after the break, right here on HBO's Boxing Classics. We start round six, Arturo Gotti and Ivan Robinson from the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Dave Bontempo. 
Glad you're joining us as we get some maintenance right. done on the ropes. And hey. we are set now. Let's box. Second half of the fight underway, and Johnny couldn't wait to get to Robinson after they touched the gloves. Robinson doing some good pesky work on the inside after slipping Gotti's big punches. From Gotti's perspective, he has landed a good number of big shots. Hooks to the body, hooks to the head, and he scored a, a knockdown in round four with a grazing right hand that caught Robinson as Robinson was tangled. Robinson complaining of a low blow. Gotti with a hook. Right on the belt. Gotti opening up the hook, and Robinson hooks. Robinson trying to jab, keep Gotti off. But his temptation is to go inside. Okay, come on, He's had some success there. Come on, fellas. And even though on paper, that's not where Robinson wanted to be. He's proven to be pretty quick on the inside. But you would like to be able to move on Gotti. Show him angles. Make him come to you. I stop punching. I got you. Get him out. So we're seeing a little bit more of the technical aspect here in round six, as opposed to the explosive nature of some earlier rounds. Both fighters boxing, both using their jab, and perhaps pacing themselves for their run down the stretch. Big hook by Robinson. He opens up a couple of hooks. Gotti just takes it and holds on. Let him out, let him out, Gotti. Gotti figured Robinson would not have the power to hurt him. Robinson has changed the course of this round in a hurry. Robinson with some tremendous shots here on Gotti. These are flush bombs, and now Robinson gets rocked. Here comes Gotti. Does Gotti have enough time? Big right hand, and Robinson in deep trouble. Referee taking a look. Fans are screaming as Gotti tries to finish Robinson here. A quiet first half of the round. An explosive finish. What excitement from Gotti and Robinson. Fans give that one a standing ovation. Robinson going to work with a nice hook. Then a hook from the squared up stance. Gotti tied him up there. Then Gotti scores with the right. So a quiet first half of the sixth, an explosive second half. And we know in the seventh round here with Robinson trying to vary his fight plan against Gotti here, who just ran out of time in round six. We're at the convention center in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Dave Bontempo. Ivan Robinson landing flush shots here on Arturo Gotti. Gotti already with one knockdown to his credit. Keeps coming on. Gotti with the hook. Robinson counters. Robinson with some uppercuts. Robinson is not a knockout artist. 
but he's trying to fight like one. He's 25 and two with 10 knockouts. But because of the way Gotti has set up defensively, Robinson is gambling here. Gotti is only too happy to have Robinson fight that way. What may surprise him is how well Robinson has done with a few of his punches. Robinson with uppercut. Gotti holding out. Gotti expected to get hit with some plus shots by Robinson. What might be surprising to his people is that he's been tying up Ivan Robinson after he gets hit. Robinson is not a heavy puncher. But you give a guy enough chances, even somebody not known to be a knockout artist will have a chance for a knockout. So here is Gotti now coming on, final minute of round seven. They push, they tie up, and Gotti gets another warning. Rivera Morton trying not to dominate the fight, but maintain discipline. Gotti comes on, and he went low there by mistake. He was off balance. Good hook by Robinson. Oh, as we come to the end of the round seven, nobody was seriously rocked. Nobody hurt in round seven. Kind of shame, isn't it? These guys have gone back and forth, and they've got three more rounds to go. On the bell, fellas. Time, okay. Good, good, good. Exhausted Arturo Gotti walks out for the beginning of round eight against Ivan Robinson. Gotti being told between rounds, come in behind your jab. Don't go in empty. And he certainly has come in empty and paid the price against Ivan Robinson. Robinson staying in there with Gotti. And now the battle of jabs. What will Gotti go to off the jab? He's got an excellent hook. Oh, I break. Come on, we don't hook out of that. Let's go. He has scored a knockdown with a right hand in this fight. Watch behind me, Greg. Okay, let's keep it playing. Watch him hands. Punches seem to be coming more slowly now. As these weary battlers go one minute into round eight, they did set a quick pace early. And Robinson in an excellent position from the standpoint that he's close enough, you would figure that points could get him this. He just can win the rounds. He doesn't have to knock Gotti out. Lift him up, let him up, let him up, come on, come on, come on. Back up, back up, back up. Okay? Let's go. Yet, Robinson hasn't done as much boxing as we've seen in other fights. He's preferred to be on the inside, slugging, squaring up, trying to get more punches off. He takes a hook, lands a right hand, then takes another hook. Good right hand by Gotti, and a good one back by Robinson, but it just did not have as much on it. Now Robinson jamming, that's what he needs. Good tactical adjustments by both fighters over the course of this one. As now Robinson starting to use the ring. Gotti trying to run him down, scores with a right hand. Another good right hand by Gotti. I stop punching, walk out, walk him out. Gotti takes a jab. Robinson gambles with a right hand that came up short, but he did get out of the way. Hey, 
So Robinson able to turn this into a little bit more boxing in round eight up until now. We've got two rounds to go. Gotti and Robinson. Teeing off here. Good right hand. Robinson comes back, but Gotti has the bigger firepower. Robinson got his in. It just did not have the same effect. Two rounds to go. Gotti and Robinson. Arturo Gotti in the black trunks opens up with the uppercut in round nine. Mike coming to you from the Atlantic City Convention Center. I'm Dave Bontempo. Ringside action here as Gotti jabbing, trying to get the right hand in behind it. He's got an excellent hook as well. There's an example of it. Ivan Robinson scores with three punches there, but doesn't have the same impact as Gotti. Yet because Gotti is defensively vulnerable, Robinson has been willing to gamble. And that is what has brought this fight to its best moments. Come on, don't tie him up. Right, stop Both fighters stop looking for positioning on, here and stealing a couple seconds of rest. Big hook by Gotti. The uppercut underneath. Gotti does not jab his way in here. Come on, roll. Robinson too tired to take advantage in that sequence. And after the break, it's Gotti going after Robinson. And there's a headbutt, shoulder butt, as both fighters are weary. Okay, stop, let his head out. Come on, Gotti, walk it out, walk it out. This one now winding its way down to conditioning as the factor. Robinson lands with a nice hook. Robinson again with some good work. Flush shots on Gotti. Gotti rocked a little bit here, and he's tired. He could be in some trouble. His hands are all the way down by his side. How bizarre for Arturo Gotti. Cannot put his hands up. And you're just inviting the referee to stop it when you do that. Robinson is not a big puncher, but with Gotti's hands down, he certainly tried to take advantage. Now Gotti rushing at Robinson, and very undisciplined round here by Gotti. Can he use that to his advantage and score with a tremendous shot? Fans are chanting, but it has been a good round, especially the last minute for Ivan Robinson. We've got one round to go. Let me try and knock that guy out. Don't worry about trying to knock him out. Win the fight. Win the fight. 
You need this round. Okay. How many times have I told you this? Too, too many. All right, then. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Paint this guy, and you gotta come down. Get him down. Without your gotti, without your gotti, there's a minute left. There's Gotti coming in. Robinson with the shot to the temple, and here is Robinson with some excellent work in that last round. As he leans back, lands some tremendous shots there on Arturo Gotti. Final round action. Robinson and Gotti with the good sportsmanship. They know they've waged a crowd-pleasing battle. And although Gotti may have heavier punches and a knockdown, Robinson has been able to land with more flurries. So the judging of this will be interesting. Good right hand by Robinson. You'd have to suspect that this fight is on the line. Up for grab still in round 10. Because of the power of Gotti for a knockdown. And Robinson's boxing ability. That'd be a close fight either way. Gotti's stalking here. We got great, okay? Step back, step back, step back. It would be interesting to see the post-fight reaction to Gotti. As he comes on here, Robinson fires back. Gotti has taken tremendous shots again and may look to be vulnerable. Robinson was a decided underdog, four to one, and has come on here and is a major threat to win this fight. Robinson landing some good, solid shots. Gotti has shown flashes of his old self, but not to the same degree as some other fights. And he's very much in danger of getting out hustled and out slicked here by Robinson, who continues to land some shots. And Robinson is hurt. So Gotti, this is his personality. He did it against Ruelas. Can he do it again? Robinson is staggering back. A hook by Gotti. Can Gotti get redemption? Can he take the judges out of it? Robinson on some shaky legs, and that's why these two figured to make a memorable bout. What an excellent display there by Gotti. He was being outboxed to that moment by Robinson. Robinson comes on. However you score this one at home, it should be interesting as Robinson stumbles again. A good finish. A standing ovation. And well-deserved. And this will boil down to... Did Arturo Gotti... Did Gotti do enough in that 40 seconds of that round to outdo what Ivan Robinson had done previously? So, Gotti, as he did with the likes of Wilson Rodriguez, Gabriel Morales, making his opponent elevate a couple notches. And here is the left hook, which shook Robinson after Robinson had been doing some excellent work. Landing to the temple area. Robinson is doing a tattoo job there and gets caught with the gigantic Gotti hook. Then Gotti came on. That changed everything. The question will be, is it enough? Gotti had the power. Robinson had the volume. Gotti has a knockdown. Robinson had flurries. Very, very intriguing fight to score. 
and one which certainly lived up to its billing. For Robinson, as far as quickness, one of the best fights we've seen from him, and he threw off the suggestions of his corner. He did not fight laterally, moving laterally as much as they wanted, but he found something on the inside, and he went with it. What he found was the ability to score quickly on Gotti, and he did not have to score heavily. The punches he scored with were certainly enough to register points. I had thought Robinson had a very slight edge, but we'll see how the judges call. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Not surprising. Judge Ed Leahy scores it 96, 93, Gotti. Judge Melvina Lathan scores it 98, 93, Robinson. And Judge Steve Weisfeld scores it 96, 94 to the winner by split decision, Mighty Ivan Robinson. Robinson. Ivan Robinson. Well deserved victory. Out hustling Arturo Gotti, surviving the end, and casting his role into the title picture. And Arturo Gotti took so much. So Ivan Robinson has been reborn. After an excellent battle, we'll hear from both shortly. Ivan Robinson countering, squaring up on the inside, and that eye I talked about with Gotti came up to bother him. Let's hear from the fighters now. First thing you said to Gotti after the fight was no rematch. No rematch. No rematch. Why is, uh, why is uh, that? No, no, no. We were just kidding. We'd do it again with Gotti if he wanted to do it again. Uh, he's a true champion. I want to thank Main Event. I want to thank Team Robinson for putting up with me for eight weeks. And Gotti, he's a hell of a champion, man. Hey, do you want a rematch? Uh, of course. You know, I, whenever I fight, I want a rematch. It was a tough fight, and Ivan Robinson showed a lot, you know, about good boxing skill. And yeah, definitely a rematch. Why not? Uh, Ivan, you came out uh, uncharacteristically, jumped on him right away, almost as if you were going after his eye. What was no, the, the I, point? Like I told you earlier, Larry, yesterday, uh, Gotti's a true champion. Uh, people intend to say that he cuts. I didn't want him to cut. I wanted him to fight me just like he fought me tonight, make it a good fight, let the audience and the people know that I'm a, I'm a true light. But why, why did you jump him at the, at the opening bell? Because I know Gotti's a slow starter. I knew he comes on later in the late round. And, you know, I know I'm not a big knockout puncher, so I had to build up the point. Were you really shocked the way he came at you at the beginning, thinking uh, that he was going to box you? Uh, not really, no. He just tried to, you know, to intimidate me. But I knew he was going to box in this kind of style. And, uh, you know, I, I, I tried my best to, to come on. But I came on too late in the fight. And uh, he's a good survivor. You know, I heard him a couple times. How, how badly were you hurt? in the oh, last I, minute of the round. You know, I tell everybody back at home, and I also tell a fan, you know, I'm a warrior. I don't take nothing away from no fighter. Gotti hurt me plenty of times in the fight, but like he said, I survived. But what about in those last 45 seconds when he hit you that punch high in the head and you reeled into the ropes? Uh, I was hurt, uh, but I knew he was going to come on, but I got a great enough defense to uh, weather the storm, and I came back. Did you think you had him? Did you think that last round was going to pull the fight out for you? Uh, I, th I thought so. I won the, the last round hard, and I thought that pulled the fight off. But I didn't, but uh, he pulled, like I said, he did a good fight, and he survived with those big shots. All right, you winked at him when the fight started. You guys seemed to go to war after loving each other. How was, how was that? 
Well, you know, Gotti, like I said before, I trained with him on many occasions. He's a true warrior, and uh, he's a fun guy to be with outside the ring. So, you know, I respect Thanks, him Brad, a lot. Sure. Thank you. You know, I had a good time in the ring. It's, it's part of the sport, you know. We're, for, we're fighters, and uh, it's just part of boxing. Thank you very much. Once part. again, both of you. Arturo never faltered from his warrior-like game plan, and Robinson used all the tools he possessed to try and offset the advances of the ever-pressing Gotti. Although both traded bombs on relatively even terms, in the end, the overall basic boxing would prevail for Ivan Robinson via close split decision. Inevitably, this would lead to the eventual rematch between these two warriors. In fact, less than three months later, Robinson and Gotti would face each other again, much to the delight of HBO and fight fans the world over. So let's go back now to December 12, 1998, as Robinson and Gotti prepare for war the second time around. 